Evening everyone, thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nick Toma. I'm Candace Kelly, former Pennsylvania Attorney General Kathleen Kane in handcuffs once again. This time facing DUI charges after a crash over the weekend in her hometown of Scranton. 28-22, Eyewitness News <laughs> I-Team reporter Caroline Forbeck joining us live with the story. Good evening, Caroline. Nick, Candace, good evening. The last time the ex-attorney general made headlines was about three years ago when she was released from jail after doing time for corruption. Now Scranton police say Kane has been arrested on suspicion of driving under the influence. Scranton Police Chief Thomas Carroll says former Attorney General Kathleen Kane is facing DUI charges after a two-car crash in Scranton on Saturday. The crash occurred near the Gulf gas station at Music Street and Meadow Avenue just before 7 p.m. Surveillance footage obtained by Eyewitness News shows several police vehicles at the intersection moments after the crash. Chief Carroll says the former state attorney general was taken into custody and processed at the Lackawanna County Criminal Justice Center. When we called to obtain Kane's mugshot, officers at the Criminal Justice Center told us Kane refused booking. She was eventually released and Chief Carroll said says formal charges are pending. In August of 2016, Kane was convicted in the Montgomery County Court of Common Pleas of perjury, false swearing, obstructing administration of law, conspiracy to obstruct administration of law, official oppression, and conspiracy to commit official oppression to deny rights. She served eight months of her 10-month minimum sentence and was released from prison in July of 2019. Her probation was then transferred from Montgomery County to Lackawanna County. Her probation ended in the summer of 2020. Our attempts to reach Kane for comment were unsuccessful. Nick, Candace, it looks like we'll have to wait until charges are officially filed in court to find out exactly what happened on Saturday and what this means for the ex Attorney General. There'll be more questions to be answered mm -hmm. next couple days. Caroline, thanks for the update.